Welcome back to another video. So we've done the yard, horses have all been fed, got them fed quickly so they're not screaming in my ear holes waiting for breakfast. But yes, we have got a busy day today so I thought I'll uh, make life easier, even crazier and bring you along for the day. So as I said, I've just fed all the horses, going to chuck them out in a minute because they can't be out for long they need to come in well it's about eight o'clock now they need to be in by about half past ten today because uh, they've got someone coming down to see them all today um yes they are having their sheaths cleaned um so yes it's a very controversial thing some people don't have it done some people do let me know in the comments down below whether you get your horses sheaths cleaned or not um i've always been one that never did and now i do but yeah we'll talk more in a minute on why what how it's done and everything but yeah let's first let's get these out in the field so they can have a leg stretch for as long as possible before we have to bring them in. I don't actually know what these are called that is all over the floor. Doesn't matter how many times I sweep or leaf blow the yard, it all just appears again as soon as you turn your back. But the horses love to hoover them up off the floor as they go out. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Wait for it, it's gonna go straight down. They're all being turned out naked at the moment because, well, it's still too hot, warm. I say hot, it's like 12 degrees um, already. We're having a little warm patch. Um, but yes, I like to turn them out naked because it really helps to pull their coats out. So, and that's what we definitely need for Willow at the moment is to get his winter coat out. Look at him, he's absolutely disgusting. Mad five minutes. And then he'll just go off and graze. Certainly doesn't look like no show pony now, does he?
get a few jobs done on the yard before turning Donut out because he's just the slowest eater. He likes to taste the flavours in his food. So, yes, all hay nets done, buckets have been washed, except the one he is, of course, eating out of. Someone has asked me before, do I weigh my horses hay? Um, and I don't. I give them more than they can eat in the night. I like to come down of a morning and there is still hay left in their hay nets. Just reduces the risk of ulcers. Um, I do give Gambler slightly less than Donut and Willow because Gambler is a pig. If you gave him a whole bale of a night time, he will eat all of it. He doesn't seem to have an off switch. Um, so yeah, his hay net of the morning is always very nearly empty, which I don't like to see, but he's a fat pig. Um, I just don't want him to get any fatter. He's very lazy horse. Lewis doesn't ride him as much as he possibly should. So I try, he's a very easy keeper. So I do limit his hay to some extent, but yeah. Donut should be finished his breakfast now, so we'll quickly turn him out. Hey baby, have you Gambler hasn't even moved from the front, hoovering up all this stuff that drops from the trees. But yeah, this field is absolutely trashed this winter from the weather we've had. So it won't be long. It's starting to dry up a little bit that end. This end is still too wet to get a vehicle in the gateway. Um, so we need to let it dry up a little bit more before we can harrow and roll it and try and start repairing this ready for next year but yeah they're uh, the backfield is ready and waiting for them it's growing some really nice grass so i don't want it to get too long and fresh before they go on it because as you say gambling's a bit on the porky side so i don't want him to go on really long fresh grass as i said earlier they've got the sheaf cleaning lady coming out to them today it's not one that i've actually used before the one i usually use has had a baby and has not come back she's not local so she's not come back to working this area again yet so i found a new one so we see what she thinks of them all later um but yeah my views on sheaf cleaning is I've had horses 20 odd years. It was never a done thing. It's a self-cleaning area, always thought of like that. But it's like back in the day, we never used to get saddles checked like you do now and backs checked. It was one saddle would fit multiple horses. No one thought of it like that in the day, but now you think they actually do need their saddles checked and their backs checked. and is sheaf cleaning a regular thing that needs doing more? I'm not one of these that will have them done once a month. I I think it's been a year. Um, and it's only something I ever got done because of Willow. Willow is an extremely dirty horse in that area. And geldings usually are. Stallions do I don't know how to say all this without being demonetized. Stallions hang it out more, so it cleans itself more. So I've actually got no concerns about donut at all. 
um, Gambler has always been a clean boy, but Willow can get really quite swollen in that area and he can feel disunited in the canter. But I suppose if he's got something there irritating him, he can't open up the legs, move. And as we went to the show the other day, as the judge said, he's not pushing from behind prop like enough in the canter. So it can also, if they're dirty in their sheath, it can also be a reason why they haven't got very good top line because everything, the engine is the back legs. If they cannot push from behind and open up and really push from behind, they can't lift their core, they can't drop their head, they can't create the whole top line. So Willow is not looking his best. I am not happy with how he's looking overall at the moment. So saddle's been checked. They're due, she's due to come back out and be checked again soon. Um, back lady is due to come out to check him over as well. So we thought we'd check his sheath whilst everything is going on. Because as I say, Willow is an extremely dirty boy. Donut I've never had done before because I felt he was just too young when they come last year um, and no causes for concern of course. So Donut is being done today for the first time. Gambler um, is being done but again last year no problems with him whatsoever, no dirt or any reason. Willow hates it. Willow is extremely dirty. They found a um, very big bean last year. And as I say, they find horses that are in more work are usually dirtier. Horses that are dirty and need to clean don't like being cleaned because it's uncomfortable already for them. They don't want someone messing with it and making it more uncomfortable to re remove the bean. So as I say, I've never had this lady down before. I have told her about Willow, he hates it. Even if I'm grooming him, if I look in that area, he starts already getting a bit humpy about it. He's likely to kick, he's very grumpy, he's miserable. But in his best interests, we've got to get it done. So she knows everything about him. Um, I'm open to sedating him but he's still just as grumpy sedated uh, so she doesn't want him sedated she wants to do it all with him awake so we've got treats we've got lickets we've got carrots we can try it I can try and get him focused on me more on what she's doing we can try that but yes he is desperate to be done <laughs>
is uh, mucked out and bought in now. I'm just wandering around the field trying to look for willows over reach boots. He's lost both of them. I found one. One is over there. Um, but I don't know where the second one is. I'm in such a rush. I need to get home to let the dogs out before I come back down to see the deal with the sheep lady. But if I don't find these boots now, I honestly, there is. Uh, yeah, if I don't find them now, I will forget completely about them. And they just stay out here until another day when I walk around and then suddenly come across it. So yeah, they've both been found. I'm gonna put them on the trackway. Ugh, muddy. So I can collect them, bring them up, um, when I come back. So yeah, I have put the boots up the trackway so I can grab them on my way up the yard in a minute because I need to run off now. It is also my middle son's 19th birthday today. So I need to run to Asda really quickly to pick up a birthday cake. Um, really lucky that none of the kids actually like birthday cake they have a slice and then nothing else really it's me and the grandkids that eat the birthday cake so i can just pick them up a nice one from asda and they're happy with that so i'm going to run do that now go home let the dogs out for a wee because because willow doesn't like his sheath being cleaned we don't rush it so um i want to go and let the dogs out so i've not been left for hours without me because they're so used to me being there um back and forth all day long one of my kids will probably pop in on their lunch break and let them out again just in case i am a long time but yeah i'm gonna quickly run to asda and then we'll be back down the yard again so whilst i was in asda she messaged to say she's running early so gonna be with us well in 20 25 minutes so cake has been bought just went for a cheap chocolate one and now, time to let all these puppy dogs out for a wee. Come on, quick. Let these all out for a wee before we head back down the yard again. Go on, buddies. So, quick turn around and we're heading back to the yard again. As I say, I've never met this woman before. I've never used her before so I don't know how much footage we will actually get because even though I've been doing this YouTube vlogging now for coming up two years um, I'm still not the most confident vlogging in front of people especially asking them you know, can I vlog your job this is her job you know if she wanted to put herself out on the internet I'm sure she would um, so it's me that decides to put myself and everything I do out on the internet. So I don't want to thrust a camera in front of her face. So if there's any bits that I can get where, you know, it's the back of her head of her doing anything, then I will do. If not, then we just talk about what was found, what happened and everything afterwards. But yeah. I'm just heading there now. Boy, get used to me. Good lad. You alright? How old is he? He is oh, 10 now. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I never get that sometimes. People ring me, they're like, yeah, I want to book in a horse. It's like, Kind of, you know what it's kind of like the work that we're doing sort of thing oh sort no of, it just makes know, it hard to get yeah, in there it, then it, doesn't it you know when they're good like this it's fine yes get a good pod around that's it you know you're not having to dance no, around no. back legs then or oh, nothing no, are you, you get some. yes it's always the little it's always like the 12 twos or something oh like that. they're the devils oh, aren't they ponies are just, an absolute devil you know they are the worst height because they're yeah. an ex a positive you know, uh, that's it a positive nice experience yeah. for him being his first time isn't it so, so they hold on to it sometimes. 
Yes. Oi, let's get that bit off. Very good. And he feels absolutely fine, like you, Excellent. you feel is, you know, yeah. nothing abnormal right. up here. Perfect. Nice pair of testicles there, young <laughs> Proud of that pair. Yes. Oh, good boy, put it down. Good boy. Uh, 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 uh. I'm just sort of like holding and then just holding That's, it. Yes. I mean. Yeah, just little and often, yeah. isn't it? Take it as slow as you yeah. need with him. I'm not fussed. In no yeah. rush for him. Let's get all this rubbed into that snake yeah. in there. Yeah, he's absolutely filthy. When he he barely get rarely gets it out, but when he does, you can see it's absolutely disgusting yeah. up there. Uh, uh, uh. Put it back. Good boy. So this is fine. You get some that, yeah. that really quick. That's you it. Pink and you're like, oh, yes. God. No, he is. If he kicks out, he's, he's like, I don't want to do it, but yeah. you're annoying me, yeah. sort of thing. But this is fine. Yeah, right. Good boy. Oh, yeah. So I've just gone up that bit higher now. Yeah, we'll out, we'll out. Good boy. I know, I know. Good boy. Uh, uh, uh. It's kind of like broken in half. Broken in bits, yeah. yeah just oh. To get it out a bit. Yes. More comfortable. I'll just get the so. dry skin out now. Good lads. Good. So all of them have been done. She's now left. It was done a hell of a lot quicker than I thought it would because the last time we had Willow done uh, last year, it took forever to do because he's so miserable. When I booked her in because as I say, I've never met this one before. The one that I used before has had a baby and not work in this area at the moment. So this is a new lady and I did, when I booked her in, I said straight away, Gambler has been done before. I see no issue with him. Donut has never been done before. So I didn't know how he'd behave, but I didn't expect any issues with him. But Willow, I always, basically put out a disclaimer. He is miserable, he will kick. Um, he doesn't like it doing, although he needs it doing. I'm happy to sedate, give treats, you know, whatever she feels that I need to do to keep her safe, I will happily do. Um, but so yeah, we done Gambler first, he was absolutely fine. No bean, no issues at all. Really nice, easy job to do. Then we went on to Donut, he was, Again, absolutely fine, no issues, no problems. The thing with Dana is, being a stallion, he likes to get it out, so he made her job extremely easy. Um, the bit that Donut didn't like is afterwards they flush water with a syringe up there to clean everything out, any loose little bits. He wasn't too happy about that because it just drips down his legs. He's like that when he has bath anyway, he doesn't like the dripping water but he wasn't a problem he was just a bit dancey on his back legs not a problem at all so um that was fine no problems with him and then we went on to willow and he was a lot better behaved this time anyway than he has been in the past he's still very kicky with the back legs but as she says yes he's kicking out but it's it's not forceful he's not trying to hurt her in any way he's just saying I'm not happy I don't like it but as she says he had a bean and it was really quite a big bean that she took out um and it's uncomfortable for him it's uncomfortable it being there but it's also uncomfortable for her to remove it from him but he'll feel better now that it's gone um so yeah well I was really quite dirty and had really quite a big bean. She's took a picture to put on her Facebook page because it's what she classes as a big bean. Um, but it come out so much better, so much quicker than it did do in the past. Um, but I usually get them all done yearly. She's saying about having him done six monthly just so the bean doesn't get as big, so it's less of a size to get out again in six months time for him so it'd be more comfortable for him but and 
like we went to the show last weekend and the judge said to us he's not pushing from behind enough and she says it just sits annoyingly like a stone in your shoe and like he feels he can't then get the back legs as far forward as he wants because it will feel uncomfortable he doesn't want to put the push from the back legs because he doesn't want to make himself feel uncomfortable so hopefully now that will make him feel better hopefully we can now get him to really open up those back legs get more push from behind create more top line and get a better shape from him because as i've said he's not looking the best that i know he can look his top line is not great um so i'm hoping that is the issue saddle fitter and back lady are due out to check on him i always get him checked on the run up when shows start and everything so saddle fit has been out but we were gonna just check his saddle again um really quite quickly so yes that has all been done i'm really pleased with that as i say didn't take too much too long i'm actually going home now quicker than i thought i would luckily because now i can take the dogs out grab some lunch because then i've got to run back down here later quickly skip them out and then go home again get changed because it's actually parents evening for lewis at his school today i do try to avoid parents evening i don't my kids are not academic so i usually try to avoid it but i can't avoid this one because it's for his gcse so i must go tonight so yeah so run to parents evening and then i'll be back down again later to actually skip out again haze feeds and everything so yeah the horses are having today off because i don't think anyone would want to be worked now they've had a hand up their bits so um i'm going to leave this vlog here if you like what you see don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you again soon for the next one bye